Hey guys, what's up? So it's time for barn door cycling and I want to talk about a new item I got. This is my Vivio Active 3 Music, Garmin Vivio Active 3 Music watch. Cool. So this watch has really like almost changed my life. I mean not almost, it really kind of has changed my life. It's been a really awesome thing. It's um, So I got this on Amazon. Uh, the deal was my Timex watch um, was not working out very well for me. It was a big clunky heavy metal watch. The band broke twice. It looked really bad and it, it was still working. I was just tired of it. I didn't want to buy another band and I was wanting something a little more modern so I started looking at like smart watches and I've always been a fan of Garmin so I decided to go ahead and look into uh, getting a Garmin watch. So I had this uh, like super generic Fitbit kind of like fake version that Shauna had given me as a gift. She got really cheap on the internet and it worked really well. In fact, I was surprised and I got kind of into like counting my steps and keeping track of this stuff. And there was an app that it kind of, you know, and it could kind of like it, it all it basically did was track your steps and your sleep, which I don't know how if that means anything. But the uh, really cool thing was just like having this daily reminder you know forgetting like oh, okay today I didn't do anything and you know so it just kind of kept me motivated and I like that but if you've ever seen those really generic like kind of fake Fitbits the band pops off and then you plug it in to charge it which is great because you can just plug it in it doesn't need a cord or anything special but I was kind of suspecting this one day I, the watch was just gone like it I didn't ever take it off and it just wasn't on my arm anymore so I know it snagged somewhere on something at some point in my day and fell off and I never could find it and it was just gone so um, this is more like a standard watch it has a nice silicon band it has a clasp here uh, a standard watch size you know pretty standard watch size face so let's talk a little bit about what the Vivio Active is if, you know forerunners I've had forerunners before Vivio Active is more of like uh, instead of being focused on running and sports, it's more of a general fitness watch. It has like tons and tons of different activities programmed into it that you can select. And right when I got this, I was starting to get into swimming. So it was really important that I had a watch that could do swimming. And this watch does an awesome job with swimming. I'll talk more about that later. Just generally things about the watch. It connects to your my phone through Bluetooth and I get all of these great notifications. Now people who know me know that I'm really, really bad on my phone. A lot of times I forget it, I ignore it. Uh, I have it silenced all the time so I miss messages and stuff. But now I get this a short little notification and I actually, you know, it's really, instead of getting my phone out and hitting the button and fumbling with it, I just look at my watch and it says, you know, who it is. Oh, look, I'm getting a message right now. It says, Shauna Golson, can you stop by the store and pick up some eggs? And one of the really cool things about this is that I can reply through the watch. I don't even have to get my phone out. I can just click reply and it gives me, you know, like a few options. It can say yes, no, uh, okay, can't talk now, on my way. I'll call you later, what's up? I love you. I've decided I just send back I love you to pretty much every message she sends. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, why would she get mad? You know, she's like, are, are you? I love you. You know, it just keeps, it's, yeah, it's great. But being able to quickly reply with okay or yes or no, I'm on my way, all those things can actually be a really time saver. It's great not to get your phone out. Um, Watch faces are customizable. There's lots of different watch faces. I found one that gives me like all kinds of data on it. There's a uh, app, uh, Garmin IQ, where there's tons of other like apps you can install, and one of the apps is your watch face. So my watch face gives me my steps, my stairs, which is not a big deal. I don't really climb stairs. Uh, something called a activity fitness bar or like movement bar, which kind of fills up as you're moving. You're supposed to keep that full. Uh, of course, time and date, which I need a lot because I can never remember what date it is, and then my heart rate. So this watch has some nice fitness features. You know, it's got heart rate sensor that keeps it going. It's got compass, barometer. It's got, it's got a bunch of things it can do. Uh, accelerometer. And that's how it works with swimming so well. So I swim indoors on a 25 uh, meter lap pool and the watch knows when I turn around. So, oh, we got a cat in the house. So that's how it knows when I've completed a lap. I swim so far, when you turn around and start going the other way, it realizes you've hit the wall and you're going in a new direction. So that's when it like does, you're blocking my light, Colin. That's when it 
you know, keeps track. So swimming has become like kind of like my new wintertime cross training activity and I'm really enjoying it. And the watch is making it so much more fun because it keeps track of my laps. So at the end of a session, I know how many yards I went. <laughs> And that's that's uh, that's really cool. So, uh, what else does it do? Well, this is the Vivio Active Three Music. So that means that it has music capabilities. It stores, I think, 3.5 gigabytes of uh, music on on, and it's compatible with I think it's Spotify and Amazon Music. And I installed the Amazon Music app on the phone, and it lets you download playlists. You can create a playlist, or you can browse through. I just Tested it out, I browsed through, I found a playlist and downloaded it and it works great. Connects up to my headphones with Bluetooth. And so then you can go for walks or go anywhere, you know, go and you don't have to have your phone with you, you can still have music. That function costs an extra $50. So this thing, I think it was about $300 when it was new, but there it's a few years old now. I think this watch is two years old. So these can be purchased refurbished on Amazon, cheap, so or other places. This one was 169. Uh, if you don't care about music, if you're always going to have your phone or you don't listen to music, then you can get the same watch without music for one. I think it's like 129. And refurbished, I, guys. I buy anything I buy. I pretty much buy refurbished, and I never had an issue with it. When it's refurbished, basically it looks like it's brand new. I, one camera I bought refurbished, I found a scratch on it, and I still have that camera, it still works great after years and years and years of using it. So I'm not scared to buy refurbished. I've never, never been, never been, it's never been a bad deal for me. This is great. So, um, other than being, you know, like music, there's no difference between the get, uh, Vivio Active 3 and the uh, Vivio Active with 3 with music. It's the, the, the only other difference is the bezel. There's no functionality difference, but it's, it's got a slightly different bezel design. So this is supposed to be some super tough Gorilla Glass, and I, don't, I haven't put a cover or any kind of screen protector on it. I probably should. Um, but I've banged this up against things already, and I can't find a scratch on the watch face. I mean, it's like crystal clear, and I know I've scratched it and banged it, so it must be some pretty good glass. The actual watch case is plastic. It's very light. Um, it you don't even really notice that it's on, but it you know it seems pretty tough. Um, I I can't really. I've only had it now for about a month, so I can't really talk too much about the uh, durability. But actually, it's only been about two weeks. But anyway, uh, so other things I want to mention about the watch. I have used it on a walk. It's got a biking mode, which is important for me for mountain biking. Uh, I don't really like to take my Garmin 500 Edge or uh, my phone when I go mountain biking just because, you know, it can get kind of rough and I have broke stuff before mountain biking. So the watch is great for that because it's right there. I can look at the screen, see stats and stuff I need to see, and I don't have to worry about it getting like broke off in a crash or anything. And I'm going to have my watch on. I wear my watch all the time. I mean, I never take it off. Uh, every now and again, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, take it off and clean my wrist really good and put it back on. But I never, I mean, I always wear it. So you have to take these off and charge them. But that's not really been a problem for me because it charges really fast. I mean, it's like in 15 minutes, I think it's fully charged. And I take it off and, and upload uh, my swims to Strava. Now, they go wirelessly to Garmin Connect, but I don't have my Garmin Connect set up right to Strava, so i got to go in and actually manually upload these. But that gives me also, I plug it in, upload a ride, five minutes later, grab it, it's mostly charged, it's fully charged. Um, the battery lasts plenty long. You know, I've been using it for a lot of different things, and you know, I've gone four or five days without charging it, fine. But for the most part, I just plug it in, a few minutes later, unplug it. It's got a great alarm. It goes off, wakes me up every morning, and that's really handy. It, it kind of buzzes on your wrist. And I've had a lot of little, you know, beep, beep, beep alarms that don't always wake me up, especially like if they get covered by a blanket or something or a pillow, but this thing buzzes on your hand. The sensor is fairly accurate. I've compared it while I'm on Zwift, and it's, it's not, it's slow, but so like whereas the uh, wrist strap or the chest strap will instantly update on this you're you've got a few seconds but once it has enough time to kind of 
catch up, it's really accurate. I mean, it's within a few beats of what my uh, chest strap reports on Zwift when I'm riding. So, I mean, it's it's pretty accurate. And so you can, you know, whip through here and take a look at your stats for your day. Take a look at, you know, it gives you like a stress score. It gives you uh, what your latest sport was. It's got weather, which is great. I can go through here and look at the temperature. It's got uh, my current heart rate. And you can look at like a chart that shows your uh, heart rate. So tons and tons of great stuff here. Uh, my current stress score is 29. <laughs> so I have no idea what that means, but it's on my watch. It tells me my current stress score. And I've got my music so I can, you know, play music if I had my headphones. So thing is great, man. I love it. This has been a wonderful addition to my life at $169. It can do so many things for me and it helps me with just being more in contact because I'm like I said I'm terrible I leave my phone silenced all the time even with my phone silenced whenever I get an email or, or get a text message and I use Android by the way whenever I get a, uh, a notification this little bzz, buzz to let me know and I thought that would be really annoying at first but it, it hasn't been you know it doesn't you know it, it only goes off for a short time you can glance at it look at it it's not going off all the time and and um, anyway yeah so awesome device awesome purchase big fan of it Garmin Vivio Active. If you don't have a smartwatch and you do a lot of sports activities and you're interested in being able to have something that can track your runs, your swims, your bike rides, and basically just about any other sport activity you want to throw at it, then this is a great, great addition for you. Much, much better than some kind of watch that's telling you the time and that's all. So, later guys.